What's up, Watch World? Brandon here, the Bearded Watchman. Hey, I want to talk about three things today. One, this watch. Cheap ass watch. You clicked on the video to look at this watch. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I do. Two, this hat. Hey, cool hat. Everybody, ask about this hat. Where'd you get it? Cool color. What is it? Where'd you get it? Oh, I'm gonna tell you where I got it. I'm gonna tell you what I like about it. I'm gonna tell you what it is. Three, this beard. What do you put in the beard? What do you put in the beard? Oh, that's cool. Do you color your beard? My light just went off. Did everybody just catch my light went off? My cheap light. I have a cheap ass watch. I have a cheap ass light. So my light went off. So it got a little more shady, I guess, in this video. So uh, what we're gonna do, we'll talk about those three. Hold on. Okay. We're gonna start with the beard. A smorgasbord of crap that I put on this beer. Good stuff. Good stuff. What is this? Satanic? Uh, the, the label there, I, I don't know. I, I don't even know why in the world I bought it. It says placebo. Why the heck would I put this on my beer? Anyway, crap. Not so much. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Not so much. Grainy. Haven't tried it yet. Not so much. About the best stuff I got. Pretty good. Now nah, that's smelly. These kind of combs. These kind of combs. These kind of combs. Plastic combs. No good. These kind of cups. These kind of cups. Wow, I don't even know where to start. They're this this little tiny. Pretty good actually. Don't know where to the start. The truth is, all you really need for a beard, you, there's thousands and thousands of products out there. You need a good brush that's not plastic. Bamboo. This is just wood. It has thin ones on one side, thick ones on the other side. Pretty good. A really thick one once it gets long. Oil. This is the most, this is your best friend. When your beard gets all itchy and all that, you just can't, you can't. I don't want to grow it anymore. I'm going to shave it off. It's too itchy. No, don't. Don't shave it off, okay? Get beard oil. Put beard oil in your beard. These two, great, okay? They're good. I've got another one coming uh, and I'll put uh, I'll put the link in the video down there somewhere, but uh, it's really good. I really like it um, And then beard butter Beard butter. That's it beard butter oil and a good wash That's all you need So we're done with the beard thing, right? Nobody's gonna ask questions about it, right? Okay. Now for the hat, okay? JJ's hat center I think that's what it says. Yeah, JJ's Hat Center, New York. This is where I got it. I'm from Texas. Why'd you go all the way to New York to get a hat? They have hats in Texas. The ironic thing is this hat is a Stetson. I think they make Stetsons in Texas. I don't know, I don't really care. So anyway, online, excellent service. I really like these guys, okay? So hat. Sorry I had to do that. You're gonna see my do with no hat. This hat is the temple. You see that? Can you, can you, can you see that? That's the temple. It is actually the Indiana Jones hat in caribou color. Um, Stetson, temple, and caribou color. That's what it is. I think it's about 210 at JJ Hat Center. You can call them up, look it up online, get that. They send everything in this box like this, little box. You open it up here, your hat goes in there. You can store it for whenever you're not wearing it. So, cool. 
it is beaver. Um, the only other one that I would suggest from this one is uh, the Whippet. The Whippet, a little different hat, but I like this hat. Um, look, not to be confused with a Trilby. Little tiny wren. Don't buy a hat like this. There, you got. There's always one guy in the crowd that's got this hat on. Anyway, so there you go. Done with the hat. Y'all keep looking. Y'all keep looking at the watch. I know you clicked on the video for the watch. I'm getting there, okay? I just want to get the other stuff out of my way. <sighs> okay. We'll talk about the Sam Martin. Pretty quick. Okay. Finally, finally, the San Martin. I thought I'd give you an epic zoom of it. Okay, San Martin Pilot Watch. I was online, I was looking at it. I was like, uh, I was about to pull the trigger on another Pilot Watch, it's about four or $500. Well, I didn't want my wife to beat me again. So, I clicked on cheaper watches. Saw a video on this watch. Uh, the quartz one is like 99 bucks. Really? 99 bucks? Why? 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 The, the, the case finish is good. It's all polished. Somewhat surprising. It has a sapphire crystal. Huh which I just ordered another one for my daughter's watch and it was $70 for the Sapphire Crystal. There's a Seiko NH35 automatic movement in there. Okay, wait, it doesn't add up. Okay, so the quartz is $99. This one with the coupon is like $140. $140? I have a band that I just paid a hundred dollars for. Why in the heck would anybody produce a watch this cheap? Because there's cheap people out there, like me, with my cheap camera. Well, no, not my camera. My cheap light. My cheap light is cheap. That's why it's not on. That's why it's charging. It goes for like thirty seconds and then it shuts itself off. So maybe I need to get a more expensive light. Um, anyway, I bought this watch to one to do a review for you on it and two to have a somewhat smaller pilot watch in in the B dial. They have it in the A dial, they have it in the B dial. They actually have a really cool dial in the quartz watch that they don't make. It's got the little tiny second hand down at the bottom in the B dial. It's kind of cool. Never seen it like that before, but it was sold out. So I was like, man. So, automatic, screw and crown, 100 meters water resistant, sapphire crystal, 48 lug to lug, and 39 diameter. It's a 39 inch, 39 millimeter watch. Uh, fits my wrist pretty good. They even did quick release on the straps. I, I don't understand. So, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you in detail the watch. A little more than looking at me in this mug and the beard and the hat and whatever. But uh, I told myself I wasn't going to show myself on camera anymore. But, uh, you know, maybe I can. Okay. Now for the watch. San Martin Automatic pilot watch and B dial in black. Okay? Look at this guy. Clicking right away. It's a Seiko NH35. You got your screw down ground. Boop. Hacking. Hand winding. Can you hear this? 
can't even hear it. It's like butter. Actually, it's really, really good. But it is a Seiko. It's a heck of a movement. It's like the 350 Chevy in the car world. You can use it in anything. It's really pretty good. All brushed case. I love these lugs that come down. Very nice. It's 11 millimeters thick. It's from tip to tip is 48. It's a little less than that from lug to lug, but tip to tip it's 48. Sapphire crystal. It does have an AR coating in there. It's not blue or anything, but uh, it is pretty good. It has a sterile case back. It is a screw-in case back. The band is actually not bad. I don't know if it's genuine leather. It's probably not, but it's not bad. It's pretty soft. It looks good. It wears good. I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. I'm still the second hole right there, but it doesn't really, doesn't really stick out. It's pretty cool, man. I actually like it. The only negative that I see in this watch, the only negative, the only negative, there's only one that I see in this watch. It is the dial. It is just, it looks like it's printed. You can see the indices are slightly raised because it's got a lot of loom. This watch has a lot of loom. I'll show you some loom shots of this thing later, but it's got a lot of loom and it lasts a long time. And it sits, It I put it in the box next to my Seiko's. It holds its own. And it's super, super bright, holds a long time. But, do like it. So, this little guy came with this kind of little cheap case, okay? It is what it is, it's not a watch box, but it's just a cheap case, okay? It's got this stuff in there, which I wouldn't keep this watch in here for a long amount of time. Once this starts deteriorating, this stuff gets on everything. Like if I got it in my camera bag, when you put your camera lens in there, if it's been there for any amount of time, you pull it up and this stuff comes up with it, and you're like, why am I walking this crap all over the place? Sure, ah, driving me crazy. Anyway, this came on the watch. Got this little, oh, let's see, let's see it the right way so you can read it. So, this little guy here came on the watch. I had to cut it off because it was actually threaded through, threaded through this little guy right here. And I was like, usually they put it in the loop. So you can, you know what I mean, anyway. It come wrapped up in bubble wrap there because this wasn't going to protect it. This uh, case that looks like a Pelican case I keep my guns in wasn't going to protect this. But this bubble wrap, yeah, this bubble wrap right here, it would protect this watch. Thank you for putting it in this bubble wrap, San Martin. Okay, so this guy, well, I thought I just, there's not two. Okay, little owner's manual. Not too bad, not too bad. Just typical. I do not know what this says, but maybe it says warranty conditions. See, I can read Japanese now. I'm sorry, it's not Japanese, it's probably Chinese. User manual, hmm, see, pretty smart. Does have a card. They actually wrote it, I don't know if you should see that. Oh, yeah, it's a data purchase. Anyway, they actually put that there. They actually wrote in it. So I was like, oh, somebody did something on the watch. So anyway, this, not bad, not bad. So, but this guy here, I'm definitely, if you got 140 bucks laying around or 99 bucks for that sake, it's actually, the quartz is actually a Swiss quartz. Just pick the quartz up. If you like the sweep like this, get get this NH35. I think it's a no-brainer. Um, it's not going to scratch up. The face isn't going to scratch up. It's all brushed. It's screwed down case back. It's got a screw in crown. Now, I haven't taken it in the water. I'm going to change the strap and try to take it in the water. 
and see if it actually is 100 meters. I'm gonna swim all the way down to 100 meters and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna hold my breath and, and see if it'll take it. No, not really, I'm really not gonna do that. I'm gonna take a bath and I'm gonna see if it fogs up. And then I'll let you know if it's crappy after that. But I've been wearing it for a couple of days now. I really do like it. It's almost comical that I put this watch on and the watches that are sitting next to it in the cases are four or five hundred dollars, thousand dollars, you know. And I picked this one up and I'm like, hey, it fits perfect. So I'm gonna put it on my wrist right now. I'm gonna let you see what it looks like on a five, uh, six and three quarter inch wrist. So hold on one second. Boom. I don't know why I stepped my fingers because uh, I don't know. I thought it was cool. So 48, lug to lug, 39, this little guy, 11. Ain't that sharp? Sorry, I'm from Texas, ain't. Isn't that sharp? Uh, this doesn't bother me at all. A lot of times it does. You can see this band, six and three quarter. This little guy doesn't hang away up here because a lot of them do. So if you've got a seven, seven inch wrist, seven and a half inch wrist, you're probably good. Anything over that, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, this band is not bad. I'm actually gonna keep it on this band for a while. So, so thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. I think that's a like. I think that what that means. If you'll click, click like. Nobody clicks like. Just click like. Watch my other videos. This watch, thumbs up. No brainer. Take care.